What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Apparently you guys love the videos where I make multiple of foods. You like to see how easy it really is to meal prep, man. Sometimes you just gotta be shown the way. Give a man a hamburger, feed him for a day. Teach a man to hamburger and he'll live forever. Just some more of that classic wisdom. Keep tagging me on Instagram, at the Remington James. I'm trying to check out as many as I can. If you add it to your story and you tag me, there's a high likelihood that I'll repost it to my story. If I didn't see it, keep trying, man. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. In today's video, we're gonna make probably, uh, arguably one of the most popular foods in the entire world. The McDonald's Sausage McMuffin. I bet if we did a poll of everybody in the audience, there's a very small percentage that's never had a Sausage McMuffin. When I was in college, I lived on those suckers. They're a dollar, they taste incredible, and there's a strong argument to be made that that McDonald's drive-thru at 4 a.m. after a night out with the boys, shoving multiple Sausage McMuffins down my gullet is what really got us home safe. McDonald's doing the Lord's work. The problem with Sausage McMuffins is that, uh, nutritionally speaking, they're lacking. Not enough protein, way too much fat, not a lot of fiber. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to fix that. In this video, we're making anabolic sausage McMuffins. This recipe only has four ingredients. It's ready in a matter of a few minutes. And not only is it going to help you hit your protein goal and leave you feeling more fuller, it's going to keep you from adding on a hash brown and a large sweet tea. Because you made it at home, bud, the temptation ain't there. Because if there's one thing we're all in desperate need of, it's to quit saying yes to making it a combo. We don't need any more combos. As always, man, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description. This recipe is now in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. Look at it as a guide, a little booklet that's gonna get you on the path to righteousness. You love food, I love food, I wouldn't be here if I didn't. This way, we can have the foods we love, but still make progress, still work towards our goals, still build muscle, burn fat, get this machine oiled up and lubed. Cause you're eating the foods you love, you're getting enough protein in, you're hitting your calorie goal, this thing's gonna go from a Ford Pinto, maybe that's a Chevy, I'm not sure, to running like a Ferrari, baby, listen to that engine purr. <laughs> the sweet sound of American overindulgence. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! So in order to make an anabolic sausage McMuffin, right, we only got a few ingredients here. The goal is, with really any anabolic recipe, is to optimize what we're doing. If a regular sausage McMuffin is a hamster on a wheel, in the anabolic version, we cut the hamster's legs off and replace them with cybernetic prosthesis. We're gonna make it better. And the first step is with our muffins. Muffins. We're gonna use Thomas 100 calorie light multigrain muffins. I don't care that they're multigrain. I just care that they're lower calories. The regular ones have about double the calories. So right there, we're already putting our best foot forward. So we're gonna whip up three sausage McMuffins. The recipe macros are for one, but we're already here. Might as well make a few. I'm gonna show you how to store them too. Now in order to split these, man, little pro tip, take a knife. Actually, that's a fork. Just don't use a spork. Right down in there like this, right? You're gonna poke it around the outside and you're gonna make your way all the way around. This is literally the hardest step. So if you can do this, like the man we taught to sandwich, you can live forever. And boom, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now that these are split, we're gonna use some of this. You know what that is, bud? That's I can't believe it's not butter spray. It's gonna give us flavor without the calories. But traditionally, if you're just spreading butter on these, look at it like this. Get your butter on your knife, you're going to spread it. Zhoo, 80 calories. Zhoo, 50 calories. You don't want that, bud, it's unnecessary. So just take your spray and just hit each one. Boom, zhoo, wife left me because I got out of shape. Make sure you use it. Now what we gotta do, take the muffins, preheat a skillet to about a medium, medium high heat, hit it with a little nonstick. That's right, set our muffins butter side down in here to toast. Boom. So quick and easy, we got these toasted, that butter flavor locked in. I do them till you get a couple of little burnt spots on there, but it just locks that flavor right in. Now we gotta add some cheese, but we don't wanna add a lot of fat and unnecessary calories. So we're gonna do two slices of fat-free American cheese. I buy it at Walmart, it's about a dollar a pack. Put your prejudice to the side, go in there and get a deal, man. You're gonna love it. So all we're gonna do to make this easier is place a slice of cheese on the bottom half and a slice of cheese on the top half. Five grams of protein in each one. So we just added 10 grams of protein to each sandwich. The anabolic lifestyle ain't that tough, guys. Guys, just make the better choices. 
and we're basically done. We do have to employ the help of our friendly neighborhood food scale, along with cutting board the boy wonder. And what we have is two massive hogs of turkey sausage. Regular McMuffin is gonna be pork sausage. Lots more fat, a lot less protein, more calories. This way, we still get that sausage flavor without all the BS. I'm just gonna stab it right through the heart like my ex did to me. And what I'm gonna do is weigh out 140 grams. Get it right on the money, perfect. So now I got three separate 140 gram piles. All I'm gonna do is grab each pile, use my meat grubbers, and shape it into a patty. Try to make it even all the way through. It's gonna cook a little better that way, but if you made it this far, you're basically home free. Voila! And once we got our sausage patties all pattied up, all we gotta do, pre to skill it to about medium, medium high heat once again. Hit it with a little nonstick and place our patties right on here. And once our turkey sausage is done, we're just gonna set our patties down, boom, right on the bottom bun. And the first thing you might notice is how much more meat we're getting than a regular sausage McMuffin. The regular ones weigh 112 grams for the whole sandwich. We had 140 in just the meat. You know what they say about meat. The more you're packing, the more respect you're gonna get in the community. And now all that's left to do is to place our top bun right on there. Ooh, I'm telling you all, this smells too good to be true. And boom, we officially have our anabolic sausage McMuffins. When I read the macros, when I compare this to the regular sausage McMuffin, your mind's gonna be blown, I guarantee it. So we made a couple extra, we're only gonna have one now. So the one I'm gonna eat is this one. So move it to the side, and all we gotta do to store these is grab a piece of foil, sit it in the middle, fold it, fold under, and bingo, your sandwich is right there. Throw in the fridge, it's gonna be good for a few days. If you're gonna make them for the whole week like we did in the last video, all you gotta do is take your extra ones, throw them in the freezer, toss them in the fridge the night before you want them. They're gonna all out, you're gonna be good to go, man. If you're already making one, you might as well make a few. And boom, put that one right back there. And at this point, guys, I think we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. Here we go, man. Time to get down to business. Before we get started, I need a drink of water. I'm feeling a little parched. Got my gallon here, and the thing is, right, I drink a gallon of water a day. The more water you drink, you're kind of filling up your stomach. Better to be hydrated, you know what I mean? Put two scoops of Final Boss Decaf Aminos right here. Sour Moon Rock flavor, baby. That's why it's got that cloudy color to it. And with that Sour Moon Rock flavor, it's got a real taste of extraterrestrial. Genderless, hairless, it's a good flavor. Ah, with a tiny hint of faked moon landings. The perfect blend. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, free two-day shipping, code JF10, 10%, and then FinalBossAthletics.com for some uh, channel merch, baby. Got some new stuff dropping. It's sick, I'm wearing the joggers right now, I'll show you in the next bit. All right, let's get down to business, man. Anabolic Sausage McMuffin, you watched me make it, you know that looks good, man. So now we just gotta put it to the test. When I take a bite, is it gonna pass? We about to find out. Three, two, one, let go. Um, nah. I'm gonna look you in the eye right now. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This is better than a regular sausage McMuffin. You're gonna get a McDonald's. 10 out of 10, hands down, no exaggeration. This is better. For one, we're getting a lot more meat. It ain't just regular meat, it's turkey sausage. What gives sausage such a good flavor is how fattening it is. And there's still some fat in this, not near as much, but there's still some in there. So you lock in that sausage flavor. Turkey sausage is incredible. You can get a load at that, but look at that. Perfection. Looks good, don't it? In the English muffin, you can't even tell it's a lower calorie one. That's the thing with half of these ingredients we're using. You, you can't tell that there's a replacement there. If you just handed this to somebody and say, hey, I made sausage McMuffins, here you go. They're gonna eat it, they're gonna love it, they're not gonna know any better. They're not gonna know you're doing them good. Kinda like when you're at a party with a friend and you put a little something in their drink so they liven up a little bit. You did them no harm, they're having a better time. I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm kidding, don't spike drinks. In 2020, everything needs an asterisk next to it with an explanation. We're just kidding around here, folks. <laughs> Look at the thickness of that patty. That marbling. Did he say marlin? No. Marbling. <laughs> and sausage has such a great flavor overall, it doesn't even really need any spices or seasonings because there's already a lot of flavor in there. It's like that friend you have that never wears deodorant. He's naturally got a little spice to him, you know what I mean? <laughs> for real, this one's too stupid simple for you not to make it, not to tag me on Instagram, and let me know how it is, man. You only need a few ingredients, a few minutes in the kitchen, whip it up really quick. You're not gonna regret it, your body's gonna thank you. And if you're currently pending a breakup and uh, things aren't looking good, the best thing you can do, start eating anabolic, put on a little size, get that testosterone 
testosterone pumping, lean out a little bit, and when she sees the attention you're getting from other females, she gonna think twice about that king that's perched in his castle. Not some soy boy, a man, a real man, with real feelings. <laughs> so to break down these macros, first I gotta tell you what's in a regular McMuffin from McDonald's. In the regular McMuffin, we have 388 calories, 24 grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, 28 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. In the anabolic one, we have 362 calories, so we're getting about 26 less calories, right? But we only have 10 grams of fat compared to 24. We get 34 grams of protein compared to the 15. We get 34 grams of carbs compared to the 28, but we have eight grams of fiber, whereas they only had two. So not only does this version taste better, you get more food, it's more filling, higher in protein, more anabolic, more fiber, way less fat. But you get to take pride in knowing that you put a few minutes worth of work in in the kitchen and you're helping yourself out, right? If there's one investment you're never gonna regret, it's investing in yourself. That's why I always say, get in the kitchen, spend that little bit of time. Cut your Facebooking off, cut your Twitter off, cut your arguing with random cartoon profile pictures on the internet off 15 minutes early. Get in there, make the magic happen. Your body's gonna thank you and the results are gonna come overnight, man. Even if you aren't cooking anabolic food, the second you quit eating out and putting other people in control of your body, these big multi-million dollar corporations that are just pumping fat, they're trying to make that food as addicting as possible so you just eat and eat and eat until you explode. Like that scene from Willy Wonka, as soon as you quit letting them control what goes in your body and you control it, you can't lose, man. Even if you aren't going crazy and counting the calories and doing all that, if you're just following the anabolic diet and eating the recipes, eating till you're full and not binging, you're gonna be just, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna make progress regardless. Mark my word. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to not finish this one. Shut that camera off and go in there and grab another. Mm, I got cheese on my lip. Oh, we'll save the final bite for the final clip. As always, if you got the RJF recipe book, link in description. This one's now in there along with all the other recipes on this channel, some that aren't. And if you get it, some that uh, you don't even know exist yet. Cause you get it once, you get every future recipe I do for free. I mean, this kitchen costs, if you follow me on Instagram, you see what I'm doing. I'm always cooking, always coming up with creative ways to make dieting interesting. Chicken, rice, and broccoli, we ain't, we ain't gotta do that, but we thought we did for a while, but we ain't. We can eat the foods we love and still see results, man. You just gotta make better choices. Every day you're driving your car, you see the red light, you stop it, and you let the pedestrians cross. If you make the other choice, and you run that red light, and you run over a family, you're gonna go to prison. That's manslaughter. You potentially threw away your whole life because you didn't make the better choice. And that's all I'm trying to do, folks. I'm just trying to keep you from going to prison. So make the better choice, you won't regret it. <sighs> and if all this sounds confusing, and you're like, Rem, I am but a caveman. I live in a cave. I have a piece of chalk and a loincloth that barely covers what I'm packing. Well, that's fine, man. Don't you worry. I got you. Check out my site, RenchaceFitness.com. I can make you a meal plan. I'll spell it out for you. So easy, even a caveman can do it. You just gotta do what I put on there for you. And if you can do that, you're gonna see results. You're gonna get where you wanna go. I'm telling you, man. You just, you just gotta put the work in. That's it. That's it. Hmm. I'm really making this final bite last. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. It helps a ton. Seriously, it does. Uh, you guys pressed it on the last video, and uh, that was awesome. So press it on this one. You just get in the habit of it. You show up. We have a good time. You, you watch me make some food. You watch me eat some food. I make some noises that seem to uh, infuriate a lot of you. I don't know why you keep watching if that's the problem, but how? I'm gonna keep doing it because it's in my blood, it's in my genes. I was born this way. Comment anything at all down below. What do you want to see? I'll do it. Just comment. Even if it's an emoji, I don't care. Just comment something. And also subscribe if you're not subscribed, people. Until next time, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. <laughs> that was so good. Oh!